You mind the steps there? Don't you have that stuff before the hanging, do we? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, I'm getting in there, you. For Judge Ann, please remain standing until the judge is seated and you're told otherwise. <laughs> Anybody on this bench will be put on trial. Uh -huh. Make yourself comfortable, Your Honor. Uh -huh. Wait for it. <laughs> Are you comfortable, ma'am? Yes, thank you. Jury may be seated. <laughs> and the prisoner. <laughs> right, as of now, this court is in session. Yeah. Your Honor? I don't have to tell you your job, but if there's any rude outburst in your courtroom, you just tap that on there and you call over. Okay. If you don't get order, Your Honor, you start pointing to them, we'll start arresting them. <laughs> With Your Honor's permission, we'll begin. Thank you, ma'am. Prisoners will rise. Down, down, down. Right, listen up. Start with you, cowboy. You are formally charged with disturbing the peace. Yeah. Ventilating public property. Yeah. Escaping from jail. Why did he yeah. escape? She let me out. Huh? Escaping from jail. Yeah. And causing the death of at least three misfortunate beings. Yeah. I'm also charging you with the death of my pocket watch. I didn't <laughs> shut your pocket watch. And I never said you shot it. But if you'd have stayed in jail, None of this shooting would have happened. Yeah. Yep. You got my pocket watch there. I want that for evidence. Tom and Bell, you are both formally charged with paying these fellas two thousand dollars to kill the circuit judge. He did it. <laughs> get a chance to defend yourself. Sit down. So I go get their guns then. What? Well, they're taking a defender stuff. What do they need to do? No, huh? No, we're not having a gun fight. We ain't. No. Oh. When well, you defend yourself in a courtroom, yeah. it means tell your side the story. So we ain't shooting. No. Oh. You don't stand in that corner and you be quiet, Ranger. Don't say another word. Don't stand over here. Don't get away that way. Stand in the corner. Don't say no more. Uh, Ma'am, <laughs> you're under arrest for flashing in a county courtroom. <laughs> Feel free to take as many photographs as you like. <laughs> Your Honor, I want to present this as evidence, ma'am. That ain't never going to work again, Your Honor. That's dead. D E D, dead. <laughs> Will you quit muttering the word? Talk for yourself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you all saw what happened, right? No. 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 <laughs> Hello? Hi. You all saw what happened, yeah. right? Yeah. No. Thank you. Well, in that case, Your Honor, I'd like to call my first witness. What we call in that name? <laughs> Ranger? Yeah? If you don't be quiet in this yeah. courtroom, yeah. I am going to ask the judge yeah. to have you yeah. for contempt. Well, she can't be for anything she <laughs> Can I get on with this trial? You can't just ignore me as if I'm going to I'll just stand here and be quiet, won't say no more. I'll just stand here. Get You're a muttering again. I am. I'm talking to myself. Well, don't. <laughs> Howdy. Hi. I know what you're thinking. What? You're sat there looking around the room thinking, I hope you don't pick on me. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. You're my first witness. On the steps on the way down. Just stay here with the now. Stand up straight. Well, I'm sorry you are. <laughs> Can you state your full name and occupation? Uh, Danny. Pardon? Danny. Danny. Stanley? <laughs> You'll have to show he's dead. Danny. Danny. Danny? Yeah. Oh, right. what, do you, what, do you, what do you do for a living? I'm a student. Oh, you go to school? No, I went once. <laughs> you shut. <laughs> Danny, would you kindly tell this court exactly what you saw today? 
nothing. He's not shooting. What? what? <laughs> He's not shooting. Right. He's drunk. So, if I say to you, you saw people trying to kill me and my deputy, and me, <laughs> and the ranger, and, and is there anybody in this court you recognize as being anybody shooting at me and my deputies? Thank you. And did you see me arrest Sam and Val Starr? <coughs> so you'd recognize them if you saw them again? Are they in the court? <laughs> Thank you. No further questions. Just wait there a minute. Customary, if you wish, you can cross examine my witness. I'll go get the dog then, shall I? Well, if you could examine someone, don't you need the dog? <laughs> oh, I said cross examine. Yeah. That means you want to ask any questions. Well, you just say that then. Keep coming up with these big fancy words all the time. Nobody understands what's going on, do they? <laughs> Will you be quiet? <laughs> you got any questions for my witness? Not even one. You need help with a needle. Eh? Needle? Mm. Yeah, a needle. On account of I need stitching up. He put a big hole in me. <laughs> Cowboy. I think Sam and Mel Starr already stitched you up. Well, I know that. And where you're going, you won't need a needle. Your Honor, do you have any questions for my witness? No. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> Never known a woman stuck for words before. <laughs> Very credible witness, ma'am. Thank you. You may go sit back with you. Is that your sister? No. No. It's your daughter, is it? <laughs> I only call two witnesses a day. Oh, Thank you, a lucky fellow. You're my next witness. Just have a notice, boxer. Stand up straight, state your full name and occupation. Michael Oswald. Retired. Retired? Retired. Ah, that's the job I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Would you kindly tell this court, sir, exactly what you saw today? I saw that man uh -huh. come to town. I saw him get drunk. I saw him shoot. She put a hole in my building. I did indeed. And uh, did you see me arrest Simon Bellstar? I did. You'd recognise me if you saw him again? I would indeed. Are they in the court? They are. Care to point down too? <laughs> Thank you kindly. No further questions, just wait there. Y'all got any questions for the second witness? Uh, oh, I bet he can't so either. <laughs> any questions for the second one, Your Honor? Yeah, why did they want to kill me if I've only wow, been doing she talks. two weeks? <laughs> what was that, ma'am? Why did they want to kill me if I've only been doing the job Well, he wouldn't know weeks. that, would he? Oh, the witness, sorry. Why oh, would you? <laughs> you don't know why they wanted to kill the judge? No, I don't either. I don't know why you Any more questions? Before you go, sir, would it be fair for me to say to this court that both me and my deputies, and me, <laughs> and the ranger, gave them every opportunity to surrender before we even started shooting back at them? You did. Very credible witness, sir. Thank you very much. You can go sit back with your daughter. <laughs> well, Your Honor, I think I can arrest the prosecution. What are you arresting them for, then? What? You said you're going to arrest the prosecution. I am the prosecution. Well, what are you arresting yourself for, then? <laughs> you ain't arresting no you one. you were. Ranger. Yeah? When I say I'm going to arrest the prosecution, yeah. it means I ain't going to call no more witnesses. And I ain't going to ask him any more questions. What did you say? See, you're coming out with them big words again, ain't you? <laughs> Do you understand what I said, ma'am? Yes. Yeah. You Thank you. Explain it to me. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize to the court for this ranger. <laughs> well, he's only been a ranger two weeks. Yeah. Prior to that, ma'am, he was a deputy marshal over Fort Smith. But unfortunately, two weeks ago, the marshal shot himself. <laughs> Must clean his gun at the time. Nothing. <laughs> 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 Right, listen up. Each in turn, you're going to get a chance to come up here and defend yourself. He's dead. Start with you, cowboy. He's dead, Pa. What? Mm -hmm. He's dead. He's well, Belle just said that, too. Yeah. What are you doing to him, Belle? Mm -hmm. I've nothing. Sure, he is dead, too. <laughs> that looks like you two's on your own. <laughs> well, customary in Texas, we let the ladies go first. 
You're stepping this witness box, ma'am. Stand up straight and state your full name and occupation. Margaret Sennett. <laughs> Recently unemployed. Oh, you're a vagrant, huh? I am now. <laughs> well, <laughs> she ain't got no money. Oh, right. <laughs> but then if they paid them fellas $2,000 to kill the judge, well, they wouldn't have any money. That's, that's why I did it. What? Recession. <laughs> oh, you're changing your name to Recession? <laughs> well, we're going to save yourself. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm really, truly sorry. I am. You're, you're sorry? Right? I am. That's what the last person said to me, huh? Oh, he now. made me do it. He made you he do made it. He made me do it. Do you know that, Father? Not really. <laughs> I hardly met him the other week. Really? Yeah. You're going to have it picking up strange men? <laughs> Often. <laughs> They don't come no stranger than that ranger. <laughs> sure. So, did you say your name ain't Bell? N no. Maggie. You ain't Bell Star? No, I'm not. It's her. <laughs> <laughs> no, she ain't old enough. <laughs> Bell Star's kind of about this tall. About this tall Bell oh, Star. It's her in the blue t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Now, hold on. You got any questions with this one, Your Honor? Yeah. Why have me killed? The recession. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. But you're just an innocent boy. I, I, I am. I am. Well, you sit down, ma'am. I'll see what I can do for you. Thank you. I hope you got a better story. <laughs> Ain't no good looking at him. He's dead. <laughs> Come up straight. State your full name and occupation. Gary Sennett, pension as well. A what? Pensions as well. We hope you make quite a bit of money then. <laughs> uh, you answered the question, sir. I said you make quite a bit of money. I try. So you can afford to pay somebody $2,000 to kill a judge? I certainly can. Are you insured, ma'am? No. <laughs> you got a pension? No. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't have had it if you hadn't called him. So, what you got to say to yourself? It was her. Do <laughs> you know this woman? No. No? No. How did you know it was her? She told me, and he told me. But he's dead now, so you can't question it. <laughs> so you think that is Bell Star? Yep. But no. you're not Sam Star? No, that's Sam Star. That's Bell and Sam? Yep. No! You lying, cheating. I'm confused. <laughs> you are. No, you're deaf. Are you any questions for this one, Ryan? Yes. Why have me killed? Because you didn't have a pension. <laughs> judge calls order, she ain't offering to buy you a drink. No. So, you also want this court to believe that you're just an innocent bystander. I do. They paid $2,000 to have the judge killed because she ain't got a pension. I do. Well, that's as good as admitting it, ain't it, ma'am? You better sit down. I don't think much of your chances. Your Honor, I think we'll leave this up to the jury. You got that, pal? Ha! No, you didn't, don't you? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if you find Bell Star guilty as charged, raise your right hands. <laughs> Got a problem with your right hand? Oh, thank you. Thank you kindly. Anybody think she's not guilty? Mr. If you find this fellow guilty of being Sam Star, raise your right hand. Looks like we got us a double hanging. Thank you, Anybody think he's not guilty? Oh, <laughs> 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 Women, put your hands down when you got the vote. The evidence? Yeah. Take this fellow around the back and shoot him. Give it back to you, you may sit down. Good, right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please pray silence. Because the judge is now going to do her summing up. Yeah.
which normally takes about half an hour. <laughs> well, normally, Your Honor. Then you be part of the sentences accordingly. Pay the deal and one at a time, ma'am. That fellow on the end dead. Can I hang him anyway? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Have that bell. <laughs> right now, this one was found guilty on very serious charges, Your Honour. We don't want to hang around all day, if you know what I mean. I'm fine. Girl's not guilty, and she's been hanged by the neck. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No, 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 <laughs> this one was also found guilty, Your Honour. Yeah, I've got more than one row. Guilty, and he is also to be hanged by the neck till death. Oh, is there any other way? <laughs> there is other ways. Oh, right. uh, say thank you, sit down. Thank you, sit down. Your Honour, your permission, I'd like to hang all three of these at five o'clock this evening. That way I'm going to feed them. <laughs> Got any last request? Can we just hang in? Billy's already no. there. No, you're right. You're all three of you got a hang. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Okay. I hate to have to say this. Don't say it then. I got it. According to Texas law, a condemned man or woman can get a reprieve. But on one condition, one condition only. Yeah, and that is if some fine upstanding member of this community Preferably a man and a woman <clears throat> is looking for a husband or a wife. Let's take the hand if I was used quicker. <laughs> 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 Have we got anybody looking for a wife? Yeah, I'm looking for a wife. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at that, that old deputy out of Fort Smith always turns up here when the shooting's done. Yeah. You're looking for a wife? Yep. Yeah. How do you feel about getting married, Belle? I'd rather that than dying. But then again, it's similar, isn't it? What's your wife? <laughs> Anybody looking for a husband? Well, you can bet me down in front of the judge. <laughs> Bell. Is that it? Oh, I was wondering. Now, Bell, you got to come up here. I was wondering about the cowboy. You got to get the judge to marry you. Well, you share a face of judge. Uh, Your Honor, this is Waco, and this is Bell. Here, Marion. Waco, you take this blonde. <laughs> yes, I do. Do you? Yes, I do. Take Waco to be your husband. I, I certainly do. I do. I know for no shoe of man and wife. Oh. Yay. Well, I got to tell you this. Yeah. You desert this man in any way, we will hunt you down, hang you up near his tree. No retrial. Okay. Now y'all go and enjoy your honeymoon. Oh, nothing. <laughs> 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 no to worry. Ain't never seen you look so happy. <laughs> Your Honor, I couldn't tell you before the trial, but we pay our judges. If they send them to hang, we pay them well. If they don't, we usually pay them with lead. However, Your Honor, you says to all three of them to hang. Ain't your fault one of them got married, is it? No. So if you've ever got the nerve to come back here again, you come as a VIP guest courtesy of Spirit of West. Got your name on there, don't it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as I'm sure you can all appreciate, the judge didn't know. Could have quite easily been any one of you. Just like poor Sam here and Belle. Just happened to be in the wrong place at the right time. <laughs> and they got sense to hang for it. <laughs> so what about a nice round of applause for our judge? <laughs> and well, good news, cowboy. You've been invited to a necktie party. Yeah, yeah you and Sam's hanging at five o'clock this evening. Can you go first? I can have a drink. No, you're going <laughs> to swing off together. Ladies and gentlemen, while we're still in the court, still got the judge. Anybody else want to get married? <laughs> Anybody want to get divorced? Okay. We've all got three, three for divorce. We got anybody want to sell their kids? Oh, I got a few of them. Have we got any kids want to sell their parents? Yeah. All right. All you children, put your hands up and sell your parents. Let me see those hands again. 
You just lost your pocket money. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, any at all, don't be afraid to ask them. Feel free to take as many photographs as you like. And if you haven't already signed the visitor's book in the sheriff's office, make sure you do. Especially you, Sam. And you, Bill. Because if you get into trouble again, I want to know where to send a posse. <laughs> and if you're on holiday, we do do a very, very good babysitting service. <laughs> we put the kids in jail. It's only a dollar a day. You keep the key. You pay the bill when you bring the key back. <laughs> I bet you all wish you came here Monday now, don't you? <laughs> and finally, if you've enjoyed yourselves, please tell your friends. If you haven't, Tell my deputies, they're the complaints department. <laughs> your Honour, seeing how the court is now finished, with your permission, I'd like to disrobe you. Okay? <laughs> Just the rope, your Honour. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.